How you doing, folks? I'm excited to be here. My name is Nathan Joftis, and I'm the founder and chief scientist at Bolt Motorbikes. Our first product, the M1, is a smart, fully electric motorbike for urban transport with style, attitude, and substance. <clears throat> we designed this problem, product to solve a problem that we faced every day, and I'll bet you all can relate to it. And that's that getting around in a city, getting around in a city, getting around in a city sucks. It'll come. More, when was the last time that you looked forward to your commute across the city? More likely than not, each of you spends over 60 hours a year stuck in traffic and looking for parking. 60 hours is a week and a half of vacation. On top of that, most car owners spend almost $9,000 a year just to keep their cars on the road. Oops, oh, sorry, I went a little ahead. It'll, we'll get there. All right. Particularly in an urban setting, trips are short, and existing options just don't cut it. In this familiar traffic jam, you see a lot of cars, trucks, and buses, but you don't see any two-wheelers. And the reason is they get to the front of the line every time. Some cities have truly embraced two-wheelers. They're great in traffic, easy to park, and cost a lot less than a car to own. But they still pollute the environment, need a license, and have costly maintenance. The electric two-wheelers out there all have their benefits, but they each come with some drawbacks. We set out to create a vehicle that has all of these benefits, but with none of the drawbacks. And ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to introduce to you the M1. It's the ultimate urban commuter. It's part bicycle, part motorcycle. Oops, I went a little too far. And I went a little too far the other way. We'll get there. Anyways, it's a smart, fully electric motorbike with style, attitude, and substance. It costs less than $50 a year worth of electricity to ride. Because it meets electric bicycle regulations, you don't need a license, you don't need insurance, and you don't need a registration to ride it. You can ride it in the bicycle lane and park it on the sidewalk. For the techies out there, we use a brushless DC motor that has one moving part, so it's ultra low maintenance. We offer regenerative braking so that every time you slow down, you're putting energy back into the batteries. And our bikes are Bluetooth enabled, so when they connect to your smartphone, all of a sudden you have an internet ready motorbike, and you can do some really cool things with that. For the adventurous and thrill seekers, the M1 has sport mode with a push of a button or a swipe of your finger and it unlocks the highest performance and most motorcycle-like experience of any electric bicycle, with range up to 50 miles in speeds and uh, up to 40 miles per hour. In 1958, Honda introduced the Super Cub. This motorcycle went on to become the single most popular vehicle in history, selling 60 million units. Now, fast forward to today, Bolt has all of those same benefits, but is smarter, cleaner, and even simpler to ride. At a high level, our business model is simple. Design, build, and sell electric motorbikes. We started in the US selling directly to consumers, but as we grow, we'll expand into Europe and Southeast Asia, including dealer networks and Bolt experience stores. But don't be mistaken, we have laser focus on the US market. One thing that's unique about the M1 is that it's a multi-mode, multi-platform motorbike. So what that means is mom, who's an experienced motorcycle, can zip around the city in sport mode. Dad, who's new to riding and isn't quite ready for that power, can ride around as an electric moped. And both mom and dad can limit the top speed and performance for their son who just turned 16. What this allows us to do is reach a more broad market, and with increased volume, we can improve our margins. Since our September debut, we pre-sold our entire upcoming production run, converting to $155,000 in revenue with very few marketing dollars spent. Over the last five months, we've shown a consistent 20% month-over-month growth. 
We've given over 200 demo rides, received over, well over 600 purchase inquiries, and have been featured in some local press as well. We are the team to make this happen. My partner Zach and I, when he shows up uh, on the screen, have over 30 years and 100,000 miles of motorcycle experience, and we've been electrifying mobility since 2006. We set world record moped rides, developed electric motorcycles for the best in the business, and we've worked in the trenches of Foxconn. We know manufacturing, and we designed the M1 for manufacturability from the start, including our patent-pending battery and drivetrain technology. We've been advised by Don Hutchison, who is our advisor and a good friend, and Zach and I have been great friends for the last 10 years. There's a clicker in here somewhere. This project has been entirely self-funded, and we're, we're raising $4 million to execute on the next year of our vision. We're not just looking for funding, we're looking for an active partnership with smart and engaged investors. So if you're passionate about entrepreneurship and want to make a positive change in transportation, I'd love to talk with you after the show. And if I can leave you with one last thought, the next time you're sitting in traffic or looking for parking, think you could be on vacation if you had a Bolt. Thank you very much. All right. Bolt Motorbikes. Nathan, thank you. Thank you. We've got some time for some questions from our judges here. Uh, where are you guys building this right now? What kind of capacity can you scale to? We build these right in the Richmond district. We've developed the tooling and, and assembly process so that anyone with a high school degree can follow our instructions and build these bikes. We're planning uh, a run of up to 30 bikes right in our facility currently, but as we grow, we, want, we need to move into a larger space. And certainly, you know, while we're making these in the US, you know, large-scale production could certainly happen overseas. Um, talk about the overseas com competitive set, because uh, you're not the only company making electric scooters. Right. Well, so we're not the only company making electric scooters, but we're the only company making electric motorbikes. There are electric bicycles out there. There are electric motorcycles out there. And, you know, the, the, the motorbikes that are, or the scooters and bicycles that are coming from overseas often have you know, low quality, low performance, and certainly low range. Um, for instance, you know, in my trips overseas, I've seen a number of electric bicycles being pedaled or pushed because the batteries ran out. These lead acid toxic batteries. Our batteries are lithium iron phosphate. It's the most environmentally friendly chemistry available, and they pack a punch and have the range to ride all day. Um, I'm sort of wondering, you, there's all these different classifications of these like two-wheelers. Absolutely. How does this, a lot of times I figure the, the regulatory environment is like you can't actually use the performance aspect you're talking about legally. Does this, is this some kind of gray zone? Yeah, it's a good question. So in the US, electric bicycles are very new. You know, in Europe, plenty of bicycles. So, through our software, we were able to limit the top speed and the max performance to meet electric bicycle regulations. So you don't need a license, you don't need a registration or insurance. Currently, to unlock sport mode is for off-road use only. Now, this platform can absolutely, has the performance and capability of motorcycles, comparable to like, say, a 110cc bike. So in the future, uh, you know, to add turn signals, horn, blinkers, all this kind of stuff, we absolutely plan to offer a registerable version. And there is, for instance, an electric bicycle class, a slightly higher power electric moped class, and then the fully unlocked motorcycle class, which is comparable to sport mode. What is the price? Ah, I have a special price for you today. <laughs> Seems to be my question. Yeah. We're asking 4,995 for the M1. That comes with economy mode and sport mode, our standard five-hour charger that takes care of the health of all of your cells, smart charger altogether, and a two-year tip-to-tail warranty. We want to make sure our customers are totally satisfied. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Absolutely. 
It's going to be a shame to see that leave the stage. It's a beautiful piece of machinery.